Looks like we have former champ Paul Spatafora in the building. How are you, Paul? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, we're doing good, man. Happy to have you, man. Yeah, so uh, when did you relocate to Las Vegas? I came out here about a month ago. Okay. So it's permanent or just for training your son? Just training my son, okay. you know. Okay, so you guys still in Pittsburgh? Yeah. All right. I got a house in Pittsburgh. Nice. You know. So uh, how old is your son? 17. 17. Okay, yeah. so he's still an amateur. How many fights yeah, he's yeah, got? He only got four fights. Oh, so it's fresh. Yeah. Okay. He used to fight back in the day, like whenever whenever we, whenever we was together. Like I'm talking about back, back when he was young, you know. Mm-hmm. But, you know. What's got him into the sport? I guess he, I guess... I guess he loves it, you know what I mean, and probably just, you know, I I, I look at it like, uh, like uh, if 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 you if if you love if you love if you love the fight, then you got you got to give it your your all. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you were a former world champ, man. You were someone that you know this game. Uh, do you think your son has it? Has what it takes to be a world class fighter. Has what it takes to be a professional. I mean, I definitely think he has a, has what it takes to be a fighter, a ten round fighter, man man fighter. You never know about world champion, world champ. Like, listen, I, there ain't. I got. I, I my my situation was. I was just telling your boy outside. Like my situation was so different. Like. I like basically fell in right in the spot. You know what I mean? Like Shane Mosley went up to one forty seven. I, boom, I moved from 15 right at the number two in the world. Mm -hmm. Got a chance to fight Cardona and a local promoter. There ain't you there ain't no there ain't no local promoters right now out there like that no more. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? But I mean when you say there's no local promoters out there like that that can get you a title shot, you're saying? Yeah, or? I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say that yeah, okay. basically. I mean all the be all I mean it's what it looks like to me. Top rank. What was the name of that promoter? Mike Acre. Uh And the promotional company? Just Mike, Mike Acre. Acre. Yeah. yeah, no. I mean, you know, what I call smaller promoters would be like the uh, Dimitri Salidas, the Lou DeBellas, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, TriStar Promotions, Southpaw Promotions. Mickey Bay, Bay Brothers promotion. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, uh, Dimitri and, and and Lou are obviously Lou, way bigger than yeah, the others that I've sure. named, but they're still all on the same level that they don't have a network, they don't have a TV network that they can say, Hey, I want to put this fight on. You know, they got to go to streaming or get a showbox deal. And then, and you, and usually, usually. Whenever you do something like that, you, that you then you sign over. I mean, I'm thinking you, you sign the rights over to your fight. Like you, you say, I say I fight somebody from top rank. If I beat him, I'm with, with top rank now. Sometimes, or they I could have an option like, on you. Yeah, I mean, I, but I was never, I was never no business type dude. Mm -hmm. Just I, I was always in the gym. I said, That's so not, so how do you? Because you have to want to do it different. I mean, you know, you've been through this game and. You, I'm sure you know you could you could have made it bigger, so you don't want to make those same mistakes with your son, and you want to navigate your son yeah, properly I mean, I in mean, this business. Like I, I, I he, he's in, he's in. Uh, I mean, it's the capital of, of uh, the sport, of boxing. Mm -hmm. You know, you make, make his, if you make your name here, you, you know, you're pretty much making man. You can make your name anywhere. Mm -hmm. I came. Out, I'm from Pittsburgh. I, a lot of my fights was in Pittsburgh. You know, I'm, I ain't going to sit here in front or do none of that. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I was like, I was moved properly. And, and, and uh, that, I don't see too many guys getting moved like I was. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, he, well, it, you were a local draw, though. Yeah, you could I, sell I, tickets. I, I had a lot of people. I had a lot. I had a lot you of, know, th those family. days are not gone. Are you just got to be. No, if you can sell, those days aren't gone. Yeah. I mean. I had, uh, a big, I had a big fan base yeah. behind me just from, from being from the streets, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and and that's just what it that's just what it was. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, you I think that um you were always a unique individual. You know, you you had a very eastern style, east coast style, right? I mean, no, I, I I would consider myself like an old school boxer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was I was in a Pernell Whitaker told me if you're if you're winning you're probably, if you're if people are clapping you're probably losing. Mm. 
So, you know what I mean? Basically saying, you know what I mean? I'm boxing and boxing at, 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 a, at, a, at a high level, like a different different type of boxing. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For like, sure. I was never, I'm, I wasn't, I ain't a boxer where I ran. Mm -hmm. I couldn't run from you. You know what I'm saying? I got shot in the leg when I was 16. So my legs were gone. You know what I mean? I, I had to basically be a boxer, like be in front of you boxing. Mm -hmm. Hit, hit, not, hit, not get hit type shit. But that's what I think made you slick. You had good lateral yeah. movement, good head movement. So good, good and good, really good ring IQ. Yeah, mm -hmm. just from loving it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are some of the traits you see in your son? Uh, do you think this is something that he will continue as an adult, or you're just going through the motions and supporting him? If he continues, he continues. I'm I'm going through the motions. If he can, if he continues, he continues. I would I would of course I would love to see him, you know, turn it up and like to another notch and. Uh, but, but boxing's a hard it's, it's a it hard is. sport it ain't it no is. like you don't play boxing you know what I mean and and you have to be 100% dedicated to the game mm -hmm. you know what I mean it, it, it's, and let me say something towards the end of my career I wasn't mm -hmm. and, 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 it, and it showed you know what I'm saying The la going up in weight class I'd go up to 160 pounds. Obviously, you know what I mean. I, but I never, but I never, I never had money. I never came from money. So every restaurant I'd go to, I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. And you know what I mean. And then, and, and I, and I, and I struggled with drug and alcohol issues. You know what I mean? My whole life. So now, was know, that before or after the fame? Was that on the come that, up? That, that, that or was, was that the money? That was that was just that was all my <coughs> life. You know what I'm saying? That mm. was all my life. My, you know, what I mean, my whole my dad died whenever I was a young buck, OD'd. You know, my mom's been on crack her whole ever since I can remember. Mm. My brother just my, died of crack crack addiction. So, you know, what I mean, it's been in, it's been in my it's been in my family, in my life, my my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Drink and, and, and for me, I, so you I, were were you using any drugs during? Never, n never, never when I was boxing. Okay, never, never when I was coming up. Never none of that. I ain't started getting into the, the drug situation until I was like 28, 29 years old. It was immediate takeover though. <laughs> you know, what I'm as saying? soon as you started, it took I you mean, over. It just immediate. What what would you get hooked on? I was messing with um, cocaine. Okay, you know what I mean. But it was it was a it was a media takeover, and it, it took it took everything away from me. When I say everything, I mean everything. I, it took my drive away from me. It took my, I mean, the lack of disrespect, the disrespect, me disrespecting boxing like that. I mean, it's just what I just wasn't the same fighter. You know what I mean? How many years clean? I've been clean for a while now. I got like two years clean. I've been I've been doing good. You know what I mean? Just trying to take it one day at a time. For you know sure. I mean? For That's sure, you can't do. I, I back, I, I'm back, I'm back home. I back home. I got a job. I work, I work, cut trees down, and you know, it's just what it is. You yeah, know, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. I wanted to ask you. Obviously, being back in Vegas, uh, had a, a a famous sparring session with Floyd way back in the Man, day. Man, I think that's what. That's I like, think that's what everyone remembers you for, which I know you I mean, might not like, like that. So you might corny. not like that. I know, but that's it's like the corniest shit you could even talk about. But, but bro, it was infamous. I mean, like, I, I mean, from Spawn though, that don't even make sense, bro. Then nobody, nobody you know seen, sense? nobody ever got to see anybody do that well with Floyd. Man, I don't. I just look. I look at it. I just. I look at it completely different. Like, I mean, look. I was what ten days away from a fight. He's coming into the gym. Not you know what I mean. He, you're not. I don't. It doesn't matter who you are. You're not gonna come into the gym when I'm right getting ready to fight. And I, at that time, in that moment, at one thirty-five, there was. I don't. I don't think there was any. I don't care who you was coming. You wasn't coming. And just, just gonna get out on me. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That's that shit that ain't happening. Who trained you? Jesse Reed. Oh, Tommy okay. and Kello. Isn't he out of California? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think he trained um, Rosado at one point, right? Gabe Rosado. I'm pretty sure if you he follow. trained Orlando Canizales. Mm -hmm. He trained a lot of guys. Okay. Rod so Mayweather, all of them. Do you feel you've been able to 
pour your knowledge into your son? I, is he is he receiving it well? And yeah, and do you think I, you're doing a good job I of mean, going from fighter to trainer? Like like I I I definitely I definitely think that I'm that I'm I'm gonna be a better trainer, trainer. than I will be a fighter mm. than I was a fighter. I just I just do. My I love it. You know what I'm saying? And um. But here's the thing, this this the this the craziest part is I was with so many trainers. My mm-hmm. trainer passed away, PK Pacor. Okay. He passed away when I when I was fourteen and no. I went to Tommy and Kello. I, I was with Jesse Reed, Panama Lewis, Buddy oh, wow. McGurk, wow. uh Pernell Whitaker. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Tommy and Kello. You know what I mean? I was with so many guys. So I like Tom. Me too. He's very fundamental. He his, gets. He his, loves his, the fundamentals. Fundamental. He doesn't sound. get a lot of exposure. He's never had a world champion or something. Is he only deals with amateurs? Nah, he was. He was. He worked with Roy Jones. Oh, okay. He worked. He just worked with Roy Jones. He. I mean, Brian Mento, me, Calvin Brock. You know what I mean? He. He does. His I thing. remember Calvin Brock for sure, and Brian Mento. <laughs> You know. That's funny, but Paul, um, uh, these days now, obviously you're working back in Pittsburgh, uh, training your son. How much boxing do you really see out there in Pittsburgh these days? I mean, I can't imagine I'll much tell of you it. What, bro? This is this is real shit. We, I think we got there ain't too many, and we got a we got a gym. It's called Four One Two Boxing. Okay. And the number one, there's a number one, number one guy in the country there, number three guy in the country, number six guy in the country. Mm. When you don't usually see something like that, mm. I mean, so Pittsburgh Boston's coming up. So let me ask you this: Obviously, uh, you know, you said that you dealt with the drug issue, seeing your parents your whole life. What do you think needs to happen for these fighters? Because clearly, they're doing so well early. What needs to happen for them to stay focused and to not get distracted with other things that may that, be going on? That, that's a that's the main that's the you have to stay in the gym. You got to stay in the gym. You know what I mean? You, you have to stay busy. You got, you have to stay fighting. That's what we do. Fighters fight. You know what I mean? And you're an amateur. You got to get as many fights as you can. Do the right thing. You know what I mean? I whenever you're involved in 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 drugs and alcohol, you can't even talk about boxing. Mm. I don't think you should even talk about boxing when you're involved in something like that. You know what I mean? You're not gonna make. There's nothing you you can't make it. You can't. It's it's not. It's not gonna work. <clears throat> it ain't gonna work for you. Now, how bad is alcohol? Like, can I have not some drinks? Can I drink out of camp? Nah. No. Out of camp. I don't no. got no fight. I, mean, I don't think you know. No. I mean. Some people, some, but then you get people that are, that ain't so, alcoholics. T- t- talk to me about why it would be bad for me to drink out of camp. I'm not in camp. I'm the champ. I ain't got no fight. I ain't got no fight. You seen a little clip of me drunk online. So what? I ain't got no fight. It, it takes fight. You, look, it, it it takes a second for you to do something. Do something you do not. You, you, might you never, mean while you're intoxicated? Yeah, when you're intoxicated. So you're saying that you, you you're not fully in control of yourself when nah, you're intoxicated, man, bro? I shot my girl, bro. Mm. I shot my girl, in the and shot. it was alcohol. It, yeah, I was on alcohol. No blasted. drugs. No, blasted out of my mind. Didn't know what I was doing. Mm. Boom! I had a pistol on me. Bang! That's what happened. You know what I mean? That I mean that can happen. That can happen to anybody. People don't understand that. Do you think alcohol? In your experiences, makes you more aggressive for sure. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm, I feel. I'm, I'm a total. I'm a totally different dude when I'm drinking. Mm. It's not. I mean, it's like night and day. And it's like literally like night and day. I mean, look. I've been. I've been. I've been in the penitentiary. I've been in the county jail. I've been in Schumann Center. I've been in all the all any hood that in down my neighborhood. I ain't getting. I don't get no trouble. I don't get no fights. Mm-hmm. The minute I'm drinking. I'm fighting everything. <laughs> Ain't that something? Yeah. Or I'm doing something. So what do you think happen. the alcohol does? Releases old feelings, I, I, old I, anger? I, I, I really, I mean, I, I, just, I just think it's a demon. Mm. It's a demon. Some people, some, some people can can do it. Some people can't, man. I mean, and I definitely, definitely. How are you gonna do? How are you gonna? How are you gonna be drinking and, and then be boxing and winning? Against against the type of type of guys, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think it can happen. Mm. So, 
So, do you guys have a home gym or are you training out of that 412 I, gym? No, I train out of um, DOX now in Vegas. So, so I'm, I'm, out, I'm out here now. Permanently? I mean, for as, as long as he wants to fight. Oh wow! You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, what? So what? you got a place out here and everything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's amazing! Yeah, yeah. I would want you to rather be out here because I mean, if, it, if 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 you're saying all this started in Pittsburgh, best thing to do is leave Pittsburgh. Yeah. You know this, what I mean? Especially when you have, I mean, you're talking about the fighters you have at that home gym, but you have so many world champions just training all throughout the city. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, and, I, uh, and you guys are in DLX. I'm sure your son, yeah. ha, what, what weight class is your son? 47? One, 119. Oh he's, oh, he's small. So he did. Small, yeah. Um, but he's not been there long enough to get work with Nonito, right? Nah, uh, nah. Because Nonito nah. was just there before he left to Japan. Yeah. Nah, um, but he said he's only been here a month. That mm -hmm. was, yeah. Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He wasn't been there long yeah. enough. Uh, and and, and Mo, uh, what's that, my man? Carmel that we had, and he's too big, right? He looked big. Yeah. He what it is? He forty seven. Uh, I don't know his exact weight, but he he's big though. Bro, I see they BLX posted some sparring of him, and he was just like dipping under shit and came yeah. up with the uppercut. Man. Yeah. He had like a little red do rag on. I, I know exactly. They got, some, they got some. They got some killers down there though. I mean. Yeah. Rock, Rock, Rockman's. Um, uh, uh, Rockman's son. Kid, yeah. yeah. His kids are down there. Yeah. They, they could rumble. We too. just had them both in here. Yeah, they're rumblers, dude. Mm. Yeah. Paul, I wanted to ask you, uh, how much boxing do you watch on TV these I, days? I, well, I I love boxing. Okay, so you're. So you, yeah, I watch you keep boxing. up with everything yeah. going on. I mean, I, so I, you I, got I, the zone. I, I try to watch boxing okay. and, you know so, as much as possible. Obviously, you were at the lightweight division. Um, who who you think who you think who you guys think is the best lightweight? I mean, it's so hard. You for the me. boxer, so I, I know mean, you I'm picking so, Devin. I'm, I'm picking Devin. <laughs> I mean, he's a beast. Dude. I knew it. I he's knew boxing, it. But then you got Tank. Tank yeah. ain't no joke at all. You know what I mean? But I gotta go with Devin. I, Devin Devin's just a, a boxer. Is it the jab for you? At his whole game. You know what I mean? He he was beating me up when I was when he was fifteen. <laughs> yeah. What? I was yeah. gonna say I, I heard I heard you guys spar. Yo, oh my god, I gotta ask you now. Though. At that age, <laughs> fifteen, did you, bro. But did you ever see him with a bloody nose? I ain't seen it, man. Nah, he get boxed, man. <laughs> that dude get boxed. Devin can box his ass off. You know how many times did you guys spar? I don't know. We might maybe like maybe ten times. Oh okay. wow. You know what I mean? Okay. Every time it was just doink, doink, doink. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. So, well, keeping well, it a hundred. No, no, for that, sure, that's, that's amazing. Paul, I gotta ask you, what, what's going through your mind? The fact that you clearly you're saying this fifteen year old just jabbing you up and man, down. Man, unbelievable. Like I'm just like, wow, this is really happening. Like, how it's, old are you? Over a forty. Oh, okay. I, I, it's I, and I and then and that's when I decided, like not not that particular moment, but I, it was just over. It, 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 I was chasing. That's what Pernell would ta Pernell would say. Mm. But man, you can't. We can't. We be out here chasing one of these days. And yeah, I was chasing. You know what I mean? Mm. That Obviously, was funny. Uh, it was. It, what the good thing about it is, the good thing about the whole situation is, my work ethic is crazy. Mm. You know what I mean? So. Anything, and no matter if I leave, if I li if I, I left the boxing world, boom, I'm I'm with, I'm cu I'm cutting trees. I know I know cutting trees down gonna sound like it's a good thing, but it's putting money in my pocket. For sure, you know no, no, saying? no. I mean, uh, when my, you we we just had world champion uh, now former, but Joe Smith Jr. that he has a tree cutting business. Yeah. So you know, uh, I don't I don't I don't uh, make nothing of that. Uh, this guy knows my my dad. My dad, a landscaper. you know, came up landscaping. Like yeah. we're Mexican. I grew up cutting grass, but yeah. the fact that shit, my dad dropped out of school. He's thirteen. He bringing in about a quarter million a year. He ain't complaining how he yeah. getting the money. He getting the money you though. So you can't make that up. You know, so as long as you getting it and able to feed your family and provide for yourself, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. With but the, I'm happy to hear that you guys are out here in DLX, man, absolutely. and uh, living in Vegas. That's 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 amazing. Do you think that you would just solely focus on your son, or now that you're in DLX, I mean, are I'll, you training I'll, other people? I'm, I'll help anybody, mm. man, especially the kids, bro. Mm. I mean, I'm, what, what do you, how, how how don't you help them? You for know sure, for sure. And I mean, 
to make a living to make a living doing it, man, that shit's I mean Ideal. you gotta put that work in, you gotta you know what I'm saying? And then how you look, bro. How if somebody said said, Paul, look, if PK would have been like, I gotta give you fifty dollars, come to, to a, a workout or some shit like that. You know what I mean? How would I be able to pay for that? I'm mm -hmm. from the streets. I ain't ha I never had nothing. You know what I'm saying? For I, sure. Most of these boxers don't. You know what I mean? Have they come from much. nothing, right? Yeah. So it's like, how are you gonna take something off somebody like that? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But at the same time, the same you time, still need yeah, you, to that, feed your family. You no still question. need to keep the gym open. Yeah, there got to be some no, sort of gym dudes. Yeah. I know everybody don't got it. You're right. But we got to get it somewhere. Yeah, no, that's a fact. That's Because uh, if there's no gym, them kids back on the street, man. Yep. And, uh, you know, if you don't have a and gym, you don't have about, a place to go. One thing about me, one thing about me is, is, is uh, I'm, like, you can't, like... For for a fighter who does have ha, has any type of issues that that do with with alcohol drugs, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. talking about with anything though, for real. With me, it was with anything. It's just the being in the streets. You know what I mean? I mean, I got shot when I was 16. I was always in the streets. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like I I I can relate to a lot of dudes that ain't got fathers and mothers and or or out there doing this and out there doing that. And I think that like. Even if I, even if, I'm gonna keep it real, man. Even if if you save one dude, if you save one dude, you did your job. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just being honest with you, like that's how I feel. So I go when I go to the, when I go to DLX, it's just whatever, bro. I'm just going in there and I'm a, I'm if it, I'm not I'm not staying I'm not staying with nobody's fighter. I don't want what nobody's fighter. But if it's somebody wants some help or I can help them out any type of way I can, I'm with it. For sure, that's great, man. That's how it should be. And you being trained with all by all those different trainers, I man. Know, you like, have a unique like, style, like, I'm, I'm sure. A hundred with you, bro. Like I told Jesse, I'm stealing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm stealing. But that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed yeah. to take from the greats, yeah. make it your own, and like, put a little could, twist on yeah, it. Yeah. When I came up, I was watching Salvador Sanchez, Roberto Duran, Leonard, Tommy Hearns, uh, Hagler. I'm Pernell. talking about I'm, Pernell, yeah. Chavez, all them dudes. I mean, that's. That's what I was watching. No, and and that's the way it should be, right? Because I feel that um, every fighter has their own style, so you have to use do what's best for you. And and if one trainer teaches you one thing, another trainer teaches you another, and you put it together and it works for you, then and you, you gotta, put your own twist on. Yeah, yep. you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean we had uh, Bill Haney here. He he explains to us every little thing that they've took from this trainer. So he's like. We took this from this trainer, and yeah. we learned this from that trainer, and we do this because, you know, this trainer. So so I think that's vital and important, you know, and, and the fact that you're still in the gym and able to teach that obviously is going to keep the, the sport alive and be able to grow the sport as well. For sure. So, Paul, uh, you spoke about alcoholism being a demon. How do you overcome it? What did you use? Uh, are you religious? Wow. Did, what did you turn to God? Was it you know the fact that your son was coming well, back into your life? Well, How'd you get over it? Well, when when, you, when I I got I I had seven um aggravated assaults on the police officers. You know mm. what I mean? On seven different officers? Yeah, bro. I, Shit. They I was I was I was I was. It's an East mean, Coast they, thing, they, man. They, they brought. I'm, I'm gonna keep real with you. They brought me king me. Mm. <laughs> for real, they had me on the porch for three hours, beating the brakes off me. Mm. So. You know what I mean, and, and um, and and, and uh, that right there, like when you when you're looking at the judge and the judge says looks at you right in your face, he gave me a year, then he left my all my cases open and he just looks at me in my face and he tells me, I I I'm trying to explain to him like listen, I would never know who you are unless I wasn't drinking this and this out of here. and he looked at me right in my face and said, Paul, listen, check this out, he said. Don't relapse, period, point blank. Meaning if I relapse, I'm coming back in front of them. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my head knocked off. Mm -hmm. Seven open aggravated assaults on police. That's what is that? That's like 20 years right there from the rip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is Pittsburgh Commonwealth or is it? Yeah, it's Commonwealth. Oof. And they ain't playing with them. They And they definitely ain't playing. That's crazy. I got, I got a lot of. I, I got a lot of. Why are you? I mean, I'm glad violence. you left Pittsburgh. I could never live in a Commonwealth state. 
Because there's no guidelines. They could just give you whatever they want. Yeah. Well, however the judge feels and that they, day is like, yeah. fuck it, Paul. You've been a dick today. You're gone. I mean, but, bro, but I, but one thing I'm going to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Like, look, man, I shot my girl in the chest, bro. No, I know. I man, read about I got, it. I got, two to five, I got two to five. You know what I mean? She, I mean? she had my back. She was with me. She's mm -hmm. out here right now. She's out here right now with me. She oh, does, wow. Y'all got married, right? Yeah, I mean, that's my girl. We didn't get married, oh, but okay. that's my girl. You okay. know what I mean? I, I, like, she looked out for me. Right, you know of what I'm course. Saying? So it's like, it's like um, you know. Shot your girl in the chest while under the influence, and she's in the green room. Yeah. You a G. Yeah, I'm, I just try to do the right thing. That's no, you, you you obviously a good man. She stood through you with through all that, man. So uh, congratulations to you, man. I'm glad that you're in a in a good place. I'm happy to have you here in Vegas, and uh, I'm happy that we connected so we can introduce our audience to your son. And I believe we'll do that 8 a.m. on Friday. Um, so tell us about him. Is he Southpaw Not Orthodox? Right, right, right hander. Okay, right hander. He's a good boxer. He's a, he box. He's a sound, pretty sound boxer. You know what I mean. He 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 only got he only got four or five, four fights. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean. But he but fought, it's in his blood. He fought back in the day though. You know what I'm saying. Like when he was a young kid. Like so he's got an old book. Yeah, like when he was a little kid type shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. So so I technically mean, he has more than four fights. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. So it's like, I mean, I I I see I see him doing well. I mean, but you have but. The number one thing for him to do well is you gotta work hard. You you mm -hmm. can't. This ain't. You have this. That gotta be. This gotta be first. If you really want to be a boxer, mm -hmm. and you put your if you put yourself in a situation where now you you have to be a boxer. You don't want to go to school. You don't want to do the right thing in school. You want to do this. You want to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you have to. You basically you're 17. You're playing catch up. When I was 17, I had like 80, 90 fights. You understand you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he he got to stay, got to get busy, stay busy. That's why that's why we're. Does doing. he have a pro style? I, I Are think, the amateur fights I, gonna I, be necessary because of who he is and I, who his I, father I'm is? I'm saying I, if I if I was if I was if I was Gene, I'm mean, I'm I'm I, J, J, me and Jesse help him. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a, I'm obviously gonna lean off of what what someone's. You know what I'm saying? He's my son. He's my son. But I'm not gonna like. Not listen to Jesse, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. And if, if if you try, I mean, it, obviously you try to you would try to go to the Olympics, you know what I mean. Why would you not try to go to the Olympics? Absolutely. You know what I mean. And and, and for real, trials at the end of this year, right? Yeah. And for real, for real, like I don't take even the military. It, to me, that's no. To me, if you're doing something positive like that, that's and boxing brings it to you. Boxing brings that to you. You sign up for two years and buy, and, and you get that out of out of the discipline end of it out of it and, that, and all that. You know what I mean? The sky's the limit. What could happen to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my co-host here was in the Air Force. I don't know that he would recommend it, but I had. I see, mean, boxing me, gives you discipline. See, boxing gives me, you discipline, and and out here he gonna learn about himself yeah, if this is what he really wants. Cause for sure. I'm be real. I'm from the East Coast. I'm from uh, originally from New Jersey, and I've been all up and down New York, Philadelphia, yeah. Connecticut. I've been to all the gyms, high level gym. They spar hard out here. Like I've been to Florida. I've been in camp with Keith Thurman. I've been in camp with Danny Porter. You name it, Wilder. Wilder. I've been there, Shakur. I've seen these guys, but they sparring hard in Las Vegas. Yeah, like it's a fucking fight out here. It's crazy. So yeah, he gonna know. find out about know. himself. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's I, different in DLX. I'm saying, uh, Kronk, uh, I'm, I was in Kronk. I was down Kronk, and, and they get it in. Down oh, they there. hard. They spar hard they over there. I, I never been to Kronk. And, and Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Yeah, no, Philly. Ooh, but Philly. see, but see, he's been in those gyms in the last 11, 12 years. Yeah. So, he, so yeah, how yeah. much has changed? Yeah, probably, I mean, probably everything. You know, you know, uh, probably everything. You were, you came up in the '90s, yeah. early 2000s. So I'm sure Boom. when you start coming around 20. 2010, 2011, <laughs> it's been different, you know. It's been different. So it's you, been different. So, like, I had Danny Garcia's father tell me he doesn't bring in hard spawn because he's like, nobody's going to make a name off the champ. And it's true. When 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 you call a spawn partner like, yo, I need you to spawn Shakur Stevenson, the champ, they coming in it with the mentality like, I got to get off. Yeah, I got to get I can't let this dude, yeah. you know, and it becomes a fucking fight. No doubt. It becomes a fight, so it's, it's been interesting living out here in Vegas, watching how they work out here, so, yeah. 
Interesting, interesting. So, um, are you training out of DLX as a coach as well for the public? Yeah, yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are your hours if anybody wants to man, come I'm, train I'm, with it's you? It's whatever, it's whatever for real. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm hungry for this. All right, you know all right. I mean? So I just so you're there, open or close. Yeah, to whenever to whenever, whenever. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's what's up. Definitely, man. You get your hustle. And we got a couple of questions here from the people. Ruin a five hundred four, which is New Orleans. He says, "What do you remember about the Angel Man Freddie fight?" Uh, I watched that. I fight. mean, I think it was. T I remember. I remember having trouble with with the weight and all that. And I and 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 I and I I, I, I couldn't believe how. It was just that I could do what I wanted with him that easy mm -hmm. with him. It was like it was, I I, I thought it was, I thought he was a better than he was, than what I thought than what, what I found out he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we got New York Bullet obviously in New York. He says, "What's good, champ? If you had the chance to test your skills against any legendary fighter of your choice, who would it be?" God bless you, champ. Floyd Mayweather. I mean, why, how could you not say he's the you know what I mean? But you technically Dude. you had the opportunity to test your but, skills. You're saying it, it, it would have been better to be a real fight. I mean a real fight, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about Floyd? Why Floyd? The best fighter ever. Ever. I mean, I'm saying, I mean, that's hard. That, 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 you can't now, really deny. Now that. you sparred Floyd. I mean, his game's crazy. He is, he's able to adjust. At any le at, at, at any any moment, you put him in any type of situation, you know what I'm saying, and and he's and he's and he's hard to hit. He's hard, he, you know what I'm saying. He, he could box his ass. What off. was it about him that made him hard to hit? Just everything about him. Just his his IQ. His his IQ. His but is it the his, reflexes that he's able to I, move out the way? I mean, is when it? he was pretty boy, he was he could punch and do all that. You mm. know what I'm saying? And I, I mean. Just like uh, I just say, his, his ring IQ is just beyond, beyond. You know what I'm saying? People like to compare Devin and Floyd. How how similar do you think they are? Being in the ring with both of them, you had a, and obviously you had a young Devin, but you've watched him on television. Sim, similar, similar, really similar. I, I'm, I got, I mean, Dev, Devin, Devin punches. I think Devin punches a little, little harder than him. I really do. Basically, I think so, but I could be wrong. You hmm. know what I'm saying? That, that, but you know what I mean. Okay, that, that they're gonna love that. Uh, I got James Benitez in Huntsville, Alabama. That says, "I appreciate your road to recovery and listening to you. You sound solid. Salute to you, champ. Continue to take advantage of this second chance at life. Again, I appreciate hearing your story. So, no uh, question, just uh, you know, a beautiful statement there. Shout out to James. Yeah, man. I, I, like I said, man, that's, I, that's real though, right there. Mm -hmm. Like another chance of life, man. That's a, what really what it is. Another chance. Uh, to like you, I mean, I've been through. I've been through so much. That's another chance of life. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. Absolutely, man. So, um, any any goals you're looking to accomplish for this year? Anything you set out? I'm, that you I'm you know? To get at least. I want to get at least forty, fifty fights for my son. As many, as many fights as we can. We're going to Atlantic City. We're fighting off August. I mean, um, July July ninth or something. Yeah, and then we first fight one on the first, second, and third. Mm. I'm just trying to keep them busy, and keep them sharp, and keep them in the gym. You know, for what I mean? real. That's what's important. For because real. Because you know I, they're gonna have a tournament here in Resorts World in August, I think. Yeah, well, we'll be there. I will definitely be there and all yeah, that. It's gonna be I mean? um, the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame is throwing a, a, a amateur tournament. We we just went to a tournament. I don't know what it, the, the title tournament. Okay. okay. Yeah, he made it to the finals. He lost in the he lost in the finals. But a good fight. I miss. I don't. I don't look at losing. As an amateur, <laughs> I really don't look at losing mm -hmm. like you're losing. It's a learning you're experience. You're winning. You're winning because you're learning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean you're, it doesn't matter. You're, you got a headgear on. You take that headgear off. That's a different. That's a whole different thing. Speaking of that, well, you already said you want him to try and see what he can do with the Olympic trials. Um, let's say you get there. Whatever happens, happens. Is Mexico or building him up yourself? Uh, an option for you because I, I feel that, like that's the only thing. That's the, like I, I would hope by then you would I, there would be a 
top rank okay. or, or there will be a, a Al Heyman mm-hmm, or there will mm-hmm. be uh, someone that's a, a, interested a, a, that's that's interested in him you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying absolutely because I'm not no manager I'm not no uh, promoter but I, I'm a, I'm a fighter and I'm a trainer mm-hmm. you know what I mean that's all I know so I can't try to pump fake and say oh I think you should do I, I wouldn't have no advice to really give him just what just, I'm keeping it you real gotta real. go off the off I mean, the, no but, but you gotta go off your life experiences I mean, yeah. you know how you was treated you yeah. know how you was when moved when I was coming up when I was coming up I was getting fifty dollars around all right you so know you know not you know they do better than that yeah right right i understand i understand that but uh, tr- you out here though you're tr- gonna get tr- with the, the right the, people the trust believe me. issue the trust issue with the truck like you know what i'm saying you just never and that's your son you're in it this is this is this is, this sport it ain't no joke mm. i don't even think it's you nah, no this is definitely not no sport you don't play this game you don't you, <laughs> you don't, don't but I, I i i believe that whoever you link up with you guys need to express to them uh that you want to tap back into that pittsburgh market you don't necessarily need to live there to fight there and build that hometown like you know this paul spatter for his son people will come out for you for him and the more tickets he sells, the more appealing he is to a top rank is all I'm saying. Like, yeah. you think about a Devin, um, he went to Mexico to show Showtime, show Eddie, this is what I can do. Yeah. I don't need y'all. This is what I'm doing alone. Saddam Ali, same thing. He he was doing 2,000 plus in the Aviator in Brooklyn before Al Heyman got the deal with wow. Barclays. So then he's like, okay, sign that dude. We need him to help us sell out the Barclays. Yeah. Same thing with Malinaji, you know, so... I'm just saying you got options because I I remember Especially. you being a draw in Pittsburgh. So there, it's worth a fucking gamble to see yeah. can your son capitalize off your name in your own hometown? Like, will they still come out for you for him? You know, maybe a little local show just to test that out. Even an and, amateur and show. And that's that's where he's from, right? That's yeah, like, that's where he's from. Yeah. Pittsburgh. So you get what I'm saying? It's not like yeah, all his school kids could, all his friends right, could come exactly. to his fights. Exactly. I, I would just say attempt to see if there's an avenue to build them locally. But yeah, I be being out here, you'll meet plenty of and, managers. And and even still, because you get what I'm saying, if they see you're doing well, it doesn't matter who you're with, they're gonna take you home. You gotta take them to top rank to spar though. I mean, yeah. that's the best thing. You yeah. want top rank to know about them. Yeah. They spar today. Yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, yeah. Friday at 10 a.m. And uh I could hook you up with Frank's number. I'm sure he knows you. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm sure Jesse Reed, he been he been around a long time. You know what I'm saying? Well, so. let him know that the schedule's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We got another one from San Antonio. James Valdez says Mikey Garcia most recently retired. What's your thoughts on his career and his most recent fights at 147? Did I you mean, see those fights? Uh, yeah, I see him fights. I, I think taking on the guys that he t- took on, like Earl Spence. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think I think he had a great career. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, champion at 26, 30, 35, and 40. Mm-hmm. 40 can't ask for more. No, you can't make and, made, and made a shitload of money along the way, yeah. you know? Um, I didn't expect a retirement at all. Didn't expect a retirement. Uh, I felt like a champion of that caliber probably didn't want to uh, leave on a loss. Because he lost to Sandor was his last fight, right? Yes, he's, that, he's was a, he, that was his last fight. You know, like, I'm used to seeing fighters leave on a win, even if it's not a real win. Yeah, like, the way yeah. Floyd fought Berto, like, we knew you was going to win, so you made sure to win. It's crazy that he left on a loss. I guess it's just, you know, it's like you said, it's a tough sport. When you ain't got it in you to train, you might as well not fight. What did what remember what Hagler said? Whenever, whenever you waking up and you're in, in the sheets or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's hard to get up yeah, when you sleep in the silk sheets. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and you lose that hunger. You lose that hunger. Like everybody wants Keith Thurman to fight Ennis. I want to see Keith Thurman show me he's still a dog. Like I don't want to see a, a former world champ that's like, is he back? Is he not back? Get in there with a hungry, young, up and coming. Big ass welterweight. You was talking about Philly. Do you know Jerron Ennis? No. Nah. Oh man, you gotta Google that boy. He's huge. Yeah. He's 147 yeah. pounds. He's with Bozy uh, Ennis, uh, the the father of uh, Farah Ennis and uh, Pooh Ennis, and they got they got one now with with, with Jerron. But the world wants him to fight a a big name, 
and none of them are available. He you hasn't know, been, he hasn't he hasn't been active at for, at all really. How long was the last time he fought? Who Ennis? Thurman. Oh, Thur February, the Barrios yeah. fight. The February, bar and before that, it was like Pacquiao two and a half years. Yeah, before that. That's what I'm saying yeah. like yeah. that inactivity is gonna is, kill him. Doesn't matter what anybody says, it's gonna crush you. You ain't gonna be the same dude. I do not. Unless care. you're Mayweather, my man yeah, took man. 18 months off wow. and came back and beat Marquez. Even though he blew weight, he did blow weight, so he had a little bit of an advantage. But yeah, it's crazy. I don't. Th I, I don't think I've ever heard another world champion call Floyd TBE. You gave him that respect. That's because there's there's some greats out there. You know, a lot of people older than me like to bring up. Sugar Ray Robinson the or Roberto Duran or Ali, you know, but you chose Floyd. You think he's greater than them? I mean, it's hard. How 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 could you deny it though? I, I, mean, I don't. He's, I he's, don't. I don't. I think that um, your record, what you do in the ring, but also how you impact how the world. Many, how many and and think about how many champions he fought. Mm hmm. You know what I mean. What was it, 24? For 24 world champions. You know what I'm saying? That don't, that's not, not too many people did that. No, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Ness, any more questions from the people? Uh, no. Wrap up? No, no, that is all of them. Uh, but Paul, man, please give out your social media and your son so people can start to follow him. We'll have him on Friday at 8 a.m., Right here in studio, but where can they find you if they want to connect I, with I'll you? Be the, I'll be at DLX. All right, I mean? and on social media. Social media, I mean the the uh, Instagram Paul Spatter Four. That's yeah, said, Paul Spatter Four you know. official. Let me get a screen share, Austin. So this is uh, Paul's official Instagram. Go ahead and give him a follow, and uh, yeah, man, connect with him. I appreciate that. No, I appreciate you, man, coming in on short notice. We're going to go ahead and take a little intermission and take a picture with the champ and be right back. Yes! Yes! What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And... Obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.